morning grade 10 i am a grade 10 teacher for drama and today we are going to look at greek theater basically and mainly the rituals and origins of greek theater um so i will be using the dramatic arts textbook uh, particularly page 150 to page 153 let's look at page 150 of our grade 10 um, textbook so we are going to start off by defining what rituals are and what they mean in our lives and how can we incorporate rituals today and how different it is from back in the day up until today using rituals are they still important do we still consider them relevant in our lives let us look at that so i'm going to need you to answer that question in your textbook i'm um, sorry i'm going to need you to answer that um, question in your workbook okay For the development, we are going to do a presentation. I'm going to give you a background on the history of ancient Greek and touch on the origins of Greek theater socially and politically. I will give you a 10 minutes YouTube clip that you can watch. So from the video that you've watched from the YouTube, I want you guys to now come up with your own Greek mythology story. So get inspired by this video and then come up with your own Greek mythology story with your characters or you can base the characters on the YouTube video of that you watch. And after that, I'm going to pick any random person to come perform their story. And for my physical contact learners, I'm going to give you a worksheet that's based on the, um, the Greek gods. You know that the Greek gods ruled over the world. They, ru uh, they ruled over the physical and the dead, um, the dead and the dead world. So I'm going to give you worksheets about myths and legends that are well known and still entertain people today. And from that, you are also going to create a story based on those mythical uh, Greek creatures, the gods that existed back in the day. And you are going to perform um, the lesson. So it's based on Greek mythology, the origins, everything. And you can incorporate some of your own experiences in the story. It doesn't necessarily need to be about Greek gods. It doesn't need to be focused solely on the Greek gods. You can also be inspired by your own experiences and some of the uh, rituals that you've attended, some of the symbols that have a deeper meaning in your life. And for your homework, I said, uh, okay, Imagine your favorite Greek god is coming to your hometown. Um, it is an exciting time for you because you thought they only existed in the fairy tale land and now you discover that they really do exist. So um, there's an opportunity for you to create a two minutes chant or song that best describes the Greek god you have chosen. Include words, rhythm, movement, symbols, and anything that best describes this god and perform it in the next lesson thank you so much for joining me for this lesson i am your teacher for drama and i'll see you next time